ini kasar This is the first year uh, they were able to conduct a uh, Gruta Shield um, across the Joint Force. So traditionally it was an Army exercise, and now uh, we've added components from uh, the Navy, the Air Force, as well as the Army and the Marine Corps uh, to make Gruta Shield much bigger uh, than last year. So it's a it's a big deal for us uh, because we're able to add. Uh, additional components from the United States services and um, add additional uh, TNR partners uh, to enhance the relationship uh, between the U.S. and the uh, Indonesian government. So we're really excited to be a part of it and we're happy to uh, develop those relationships uh, and hopefully we're able to progress those relationships and continue those relationships. The correct team and the correct matchup between United States Marine Corps forces and uh, Comar forces is U.S. Recon and TIFIP. Uh, those are the, the correct units to match up. So our focus here was to conduct uh, amphibious reconnaissance and surveillance, um, really to give information uh, back to the commander uh, that would be located on the, the TNI vessel about the, the sea right, and all the characteristics associated with that to ensure that the amphibious assault uh, with the, the tanks uh, goes successful. Uh, following that, there were a couple additional uh, tasks that we had uh, because we had identified that there is some enemy forces located uh, within objectives of various locations uh, within the island. So our secondary task uh, was to identify the positions of those uh, forces and be able to either uh, neutralize those forces on site or to report on those forces, uh, again, to give the information back to them. Uh, what was really cool about this exercise was the ability to use uh, two ships, one from the TNI and one from the US, as well as multiple different um, insert options. So we have the rubberized boats that came from the TIFIB, mm -hmm. and then we had the LCAX, which is a uh, landing craft uh, salt cushion, which is the Navy hovercraft, uh, that we're able to use uh, from the U.S. Navy, and those can go very far distances. So we're able to utilize uh, both the U.S. and the TNI team there uh, to ensure that we're able to insert uh, both of our forces ashore here on uh, St. Kitt. So the expectation is always to just um, is to build relationships. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think if that's the main goal is, is to come uh, alongside a partner nation and train with them, um, and you build you know a new team yeah. and, and newly formed uh, yeah. relationships. That's that's mission accomplishment for us. So uh, that was the number one expectation, and I think my expectations were far exceeded. Yeah. Um, so that's good.